Assalamualaikum, my name is Aya. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do 3D tracking in Yuk and then export the tracking data. And uh, let's get started. So, first thing you need to do is you need to import the footage that you want to track. So, I'm just going to hit R on the keyboard. Which is for from Nuke so here is the footage i'm going to click it and then hit open so as you can see the footage it's uh, very simple as you can see there it's very simple footage okay so let's uh, add a camera tracker node type in here camera tracker and uh, you know I'm just going to show you the basic and uh, as you can see this footage is very simple there is no actor so if you have an actor you can do roto uh, you know you can do rotoscoping and just do the mask okay just hit track Okay, the tracking is done. The next step is uh, we need to solve the camera. So, just hit solve, and you can see it's very nice. And we need to adjust the tracking about the max error. So we need to play around with this value. You know the precision of the track. We need to decrease this, like so. Maybe looks very nice you know and then delete rejected yes and delete unsolved and yes and go back to camera tracker and update solve okay the next step is we need to create a camera scene plus and create so now we can see that our tracking is very simple. Got point cloud. Disable this. And let's control and go to 3D view. As you can see, we got our point cloud. And uh, we need to adjust the ground plane. So we we'll go back and uh, we go to. Let's uh, select maybe uh, this tracking point looks very nice and right click on it ground plane set to select it so now when we go to 3d view you can see it looks better than before okay and uh, let's create a card maybe uh, around this area so I'm going to click so select hold on shift right click and uh, create card Z Z Z X like and as you can see we've got a card now and we need to hook this card to the scene so maybe we'll create a simple checkerboard and uh, we'll increase the size maybe you know as a texture of this card go back to scan line we can see we got card there and then let's rotate this uh, card around y axis pair on with this value and uh, looks very nice mm 
push it back around the x axis and the z axis you know I want to put an object around this over this area in this area just uh, like so looks very nice uh, let's try as you can see it's sticking with the ground very nice and uh, you know it's very simple footage I need to show you the basic of export distracting data to Simawudi okay the next step is we need to add the cube let's try cube and uh, we will add this to the scene and of course we go back to uh, this and decrease the scale and we need to put around this area over here and uh, looks very nice and rotate cool Okay, and then uh, we go back to the to, uh, to view, and then uh, we will close this. Let's try that again. See what we have. All right, it looks uh, very cool. As you can see, the three D object there, and uh, it's very cool so it looks really nice and we want to export this tracking data to cinema 4d so to do that we need to create a right geo node so type in here right geo look into the scene node and uh, we'll create uh you know this is the previous tracking data we will create new folder call this a uh, tutorial hit ok and call this tracking export underscore like so and we are going to use fbx format so we type in here fbx and uh, you know it's a uh, very important the format as far as I know it's only FBX and Alembic if you want to export uh, animation complete with animation so try FBX and then we hit, hit open so now we can see we can we can control the FBX options so we want to export only geometry with the cameras so we uncheck the lights axis and point cloud and uh, make sure everything's you know and uh, we just hit execute and hit ok ok I'm just copy this uh, this directory like so right click and copy and just open up cinema 4d and that will be in the next video